Hey guys, it's EA Co-Wedding. How you doing? Usually I do these videos first thing in the morning, but I, uh, I had some stuff I had to get done this morning. So it's afternoon, it's the end of my work day, and man, I have a lot to tell you about, but I'm going to try to narrow in and focus in on one particular topic. One particular sacred cow out there that needs to have its throat slit. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Your chakras are bullshit. Your chakras are bullshit. Now I'm not just saying this, I'm not just throwing this out there just to say it. I, I didn't want to accept it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to part with this, this uh, belief, <laughs> a belief, a belief that has bound us all so tightly. Lucifuge dwells in the darkness. And from the darkness he sees all. He knows all. He knows all. All right, so before we go any further, go check out bald.co slash lucifuge. This is going to get you your compendium of lucifuge. This is going to get you your lucifuge flag, your right with lucifuge that Connor Kendall and I are going to be doing. This is also going to get you your path working video training course. Are you playing games or are you getting serious? Are you playing games or are you winning? Jack yourself into the dark mind itself. Bald.co slash Lucifuge. As I ascended in my own path, in my own path working, in my own unfolding, as I soul traveled to higher and higher and greater and greater realms of, uh, of existence, states of being, as I grew into myself, Pretty quickly, even the spiritual masters, the ascended masters that I was working with, specifically an ascended master known as Saint Germain. You may have heard of him, alchemist. Alchemist to the kings, alchemist to the throne. P potentially immortal. This man never aged over a lifespan. Never aged. He could take any gem, cover it up with a hanky, meditate on it, it would get warm, it would glow. Take the hanky off, hand it to the king, boom, perfect. All imperfections removed. This isn't just a, a s simple stage trick. You could do it with a stage trick, sure, you could mimic it. I've done this in real life with the real thing. Only I've added impurities. <laughs> I've added impurities. I've taken a quartz sphere, completely clear. Look at it under a microscope, completely clear. And then I've gone, transferred my consciousness into the center of it to create a bubble. Within minutes, a bubble forms. I took it back to the same person that I bought that, that crystal uh, orb from, that seer stone. And I said, hey, uh, there's a bubble in here. She said, no, there's not. No, there is not. We looked at it under, not a microscope, but a magnifying glass, like a gem, uh, a gem glass. Only it was on a tray. It's a, uh, I guess it's a microscope. I guess it's a microscope. So, and she, we had specifically looked through it because I wanted to know if this was quartz. I wanted to know if it was quartz or if it was glass. I didn't want to buy, spend a couple hundred dollars on a piece of glass. Come on. And so we had looked at it under a microscope. She said, no, it's not. She said, bring it back in. If it's got a bubble in it, bring it back in and I'll return it. I brought it back in. She looked at it and sure enough, <gasps> how did that get there? I don't know. How did it get there? I didn't exchange it though. I have that. I have that seer stone. Actually, I passed that seer stone to my daughter because she needed to see. She needed that sight into the other worlds. And so, when she was ready for it, I passed that to her. And now she has the sight. She has the Gorgon's eye. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what she does with it. I can't wait to see what she does with her power. I can't wait to see what she does with her knowledge. I love that child so much. And I have, I have so much faith in her. I believe in her so strongly, so strongly. I would lay down my life for that child. I would lay down my everything for that child. She's not a child anymore. 
She's becoming her own woman. She's becoming her own person. I can't wait to see what she does. And I can't wait to see what she does that's different than what I do. Because it will be different. Because she's different than me. She's different than anybody. But anyways. St. Germain teaches me these, these things. How to, how to change the actual physical materials in my hand. How to manifest something from nothing. You create a matrix field. And you fill it with mist, scrying fog. Once that scrying fog is inside that matrix, then you assemble it into the form that you desire. This can be in the form of a spirit. This can be in the form of a, a gemstone. This can be in the form of a plant. I have materialized plants that I've needed for special operations that I couldn't find. Materialize it, and then it just finds its way to you in this world. It just finds its way to you. It's just like somebody throws it in the river... And you already have your net out. You're ready to catch it. And you caught what you were looking for. Boom, there it is. It's magic. So Saint Germain that teaches me all of these amazing things also taught me. I was, I was sitting specifically in the city park after dark. You're not supposed to do that. Parks close after dark, but whatevs. Uh, and I, I had a couple friends, just a, a small group of us that were just sitting, chilling, hanging out. We weren't really even talking. We were just enjoying the silent night. And this was uh, probably right around 2002, 2003. And Saint Germain says, you have to remove your chakras. You have to remove your chakras. And he teaches me how. These two fingers, these two fingers right here, not the best two fingers for everything, but for this particular operation they seem to be. And you simply Begin to let your hand, with those fingers out, find its own circular rhythm. Maybe that way is going to be more of a flow. Maybe that way is more of a flow. I'm feeling that way right now. It changes. It changes. Let yourself adapt to the change. And then you take your third eye. Trap your magical fingers, your spiritual fingers, in between your third eye, your Ajna Chakra, and your skin. And you push. With all of your magical might and will, you push until you can feel the chakra snap. Now, this is a dangerous operation. All right? This can cause you to go insane. This can cause you to possibly have health problems if you're not ready for it. If you start removing your heart chakra and you're in the middle of battling cancer... Because this is how hardwired these traps are. And I'll get into that in a second. But anyway, St. Germain guides me through this with each chakra. Not the crown. The crown's not an actual chakra. The word chakra means wheel or disc or revolution. The Sahasrara, it's a crown. So you go through the six chakras and, and separate them. Now, as soon as I did that, the moment I did that, there's pain, there's agony, there's discomfort, there's fear. But as soon as that's all vanquished, and you stand there or kneel there or sit there with all of your chakras open, all of yourself glowing, and not just open, your chakras are actually floating in front of you like soldiers waiting for your command waiting for you to tell them what to do. We now stand in front of you. What is your command, Lord? What is your command, King? Stay. Stay there. Stay there. The result was bliss. Bliss. Absolute. Undisturbed, undisturbable bliss. And I could feel the arms of my power stretching out into the universe around me. And I could feel my mind connecting to every other mind, human and otherwise. That moment changed my life. I didn't understand it though until I started, until I started working with Lucifuge. I had even taught this in the Soul Travel course when I filmed that several years ago. Bog.co slash Mastering Soul Travel. 
I taught the practice, but I didn't understand the principle. Now I do, at least a little better. The principle is, is that everybody's asking, how do, how do you open your third eye? Who told you your third eye is not open? Who told you that? They're lying to you. Your third eye is open. You are awake. Your throat is open. You are clear. Your heart is open. You can feel, you can give, you can love, you can receive. Your solar plexus is open. You can will, you can want, you can thirst, you can hunger, you can desire. And you can make it happen. Your sexual chakra is open. You can create. You can connect. You can love. You can cry. You can laugh. You can share. Your root is open. You can be. You can thrive. You can survive. You can do this. Anybody that tells you otherwise is lying to you. Anybody that tells you that your chakras are blocked, they have a blockage of their own. Perhaps there are issues you need to work through. And perhaps those issues can manifest as chakras. But everybody's so caught up in this idea of the chakras that if they just fix the chakras, that they don't have to worry about their lives. If they just fix their chakras, they don't have to worry about their relationships. If they just fix their chakras, they don't have to worry about showing up every single day and building their empire. Because they just need to open their third eye, and then it'll happen. It's a cop-out. It's a lie. I fell for it. You probably fell for it too. It's bullshit. Now, this doesn't mean the chakras aren't powerful tools. Timothy sent me the, this text, uh, Arthur Avalon's uh, uh, edition of uh, The Serpent Power, The Secrets of Tantric and Shaktic Yoga. It, this could be easily, easily dismissed, easily dismissed on the bookshelf if you don't know what you're looking for. I didn't know what I was looking for. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you for providing this. Because it's not just Arthur Avalon talking about uh, chakras and the serpent power. This is uh, <laughs> Sat Chakra Nirupana and Paruka Pankaka. Man, I'll tell you what, I should have brushed up on how to pronounce these before I started this video, but I didn't. I'm just kind of winging it. Sorry, guys. The Serpent Power, Arthur Avalon. I've been aware of Arthur Avalon. I've skimmed through some of his stuff. Honestly, I'm going to be serious with you. I haven't taken him seriously. He just seemed like another new age quack to me until now. See, that's the thing. When you're not ready for the information that's coming to you, it's going to seem like craziness. It's going to seem like nonsense. When you become ready for it, it awakens. Connor Kendall wrote this awesome, awesome piece for the, uh, the Compendium of Lucifuge. You've got to check it out. It talks about exactly this. That dark mind, jacking yourself into the dark mind. Now, so Timothy sent me this, and it is just in reading it. These texts here are the, are the most complete description of the chakras. Now you, just in reading it, it is beautiful. I'm, I'm gonna do a little um, bibliomancy, all right? I just, letting the page open here. I, I do have a couple pages dog-eared. I've got a lot of pages dog-eared. That most excellent of men who has controlled his mind and known this place is never again born in the wandering, as there is nothing in the three worlds which binds him. His mind being controlled and his aim achieved, he possesses complete power to do all which he wishes, and to prevent that which is contrary to his will. He ever moves towards the Brahman. His speech, whether in prose or verse, is ever pure and sweet. Just reading it. Just that, just that one verse. That's verse 45. Oh, you can feel it. It's interesting because in this description, you go through the awakening and the opening and the adoration of each of these aspects of the God. 
each of these aspects of the divinity within yourself. But then you free yourself from it. You free yourself from it. So this is just like problems, okay? So you have a problem in life. You have an obstacle. You have something that you need to solve. If you're just focused on the problem, I don't have enough money. 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 I need more money. I need more money. I need more money. You are not going to get more money. Not that way. You have to look past the problem into the solution. If your chakras are all fucked up, that's your fault. It's because you're not doing something right. Or it's because you're not being mindful enough. Or it's because you just need somebody to give you a hand. I'm going to tell you right now, if your heart chakra, your anahata chakra, is not feeling right, if it's blocked, there is a physical issue involved. There's a health issue involved, so you need to get to see your, your physician. Absolutely. Modern medicine is a creation of magic. Modern medicine is witchcraft. Use it. Go see your doctor. But also, if you have a, if you have a blockage in your heart center, that's also your ability to nourish. You're probably overnourishing others and not nourishing yourself enough. There's also a matter of silence. Anahata, it's the unstruck chord. It is the chamber of absolute silence in which the Ishtadavata dwells. And so you get into that silent place, and that's, that is absolutely where you need to get to if your heart center is blocked. I'm being drawn specifically to talk about the heart center. I'm not sure why. So if that's blocked, don't focus on the chakra. It's hard because if your hand swells up, if my right hand swelled up like the size of a baseball mitt, how am I not going to pay attention to that? It's probably not something in my hand. Maybe it is. Maybe I need to go to the doctor and find out what's going on with my hand. If my hand swells up like that, that's not something your hand just does. Don't look at your hand and say, hand, I need you to open and relax and, and, and do what I want you to do. No. There is something underneath that you need to address. So the chakras can be a valuable tool in looking at yourself and in evaluating yourself and in seeing where things are at. It's a gauge. But it's not the problem. In fact, it's just a symbolic system. So here's where it becomes a trap. You have these six locks that are upon you, locked in place. Each of them are binding you, your subtle selves, to your physical self. This is why in soul travel, St. Germain said you had to remove these, to get beyond the abyss. You have to separate yourself from yourself. Now, this is where it gets really cool. Lucifuge comes into play. Like I said, this is like 2002, 2003 when St. Germain gave me this teaching. Now here it is, 2019. This is, how, this is how the mind, this is how the genius dark mind works. It plants a seed 15 years in the past in order for me today to understand the lesson. In order for me today, today at this moment, to get what I needed to get. It's all a symbolic system. It's all a system of belief. Lucifuge offers an alternative. If your chakras keep getting fucked up, Maybe you need to bypass them. If your chakras keep getting clogged, maybe you need to find out where that filter is at and take the filter out and bypass it. Maybe not. Maybe you don't want to send filthy energy into your carburetor. You're going to have to do some diagnosis. You're going to have to do some, some real figuring out the action that you need to take. The thoughts that you need to direct yourself towards. The emotions that you're going to anchor those thoughts to. The reason why. The leverage. The leverage. Why is it so important for you to overcome your obstacle? Why is it so important for you to succeed? If the why is strong enough, the how will find a place. Now, uh, Lucifuge gives a workaround. Lucifuge gives a workaround. Because here's the thing, if you separate your chakras, they're all floating out in front of you. And then you just go out into, into the world, 
you have negative Nancy down the road talking about politics and you got this person over here talking about priests molesting children and then you've got the, the person at the coffee shop that's just too impatient as being an asshole. You have all of these different factors of the real world that come into play that snap you back into yourself. It snaps your chakras back into place. It snaps you back into just being a locked being. You're locked into the society. You're locked into the belief system. That's what the chakras actually do. I challenge you through experience to prove me wrong. What you're gonna have to do though, you can't just abandon it. You can't just be a deconstructionist and, and uh, uh, an iconoclast and just say these are symbols that are, are binding me, therefore I throw them away. No, they're binding you because you let them bind you for a reason. They serve a purpose, they serve a purpose. What we need to do is we need to find another way to serve that purpose, a better way to serve that purpose. We need new tools. We are becoming new beings. We are becoming new beings. We need new tools. We need new technology. We need new ideas, new thoughts, new innovations. We can't be relying on the same stuff that has trapped the human race for the last thousands of years to get us to the next stage. We're here to create something new. Let's do it. So Lucifuge gives, <laughs> Lucifuge gives perfect, perfect, perfect systems that you can use to replace your chakra system. You don't need your chakras anymore. You can operate fully in your body of darkness with vortexes of fire. He will teach you how to open these up. I will teach you how to open these up. My Lucifuge Pathworking video training course, the Compendium of Lucifuge, the Lucifuge Ritual, the Lucifuge Flag, Get them. They are yours. They are yours and you need them. You need them. You don't need them to open your shops. You can do this without me. I'm hopefully just giving you some tools that I've found along the way. But I'm going to tell you what, you need those tools. We're building an empire. You're building your own empire. You are building your own empire. And my empire wants to help your empire. We're going to be allies, okay? We're going to be allies. And so the resources that you need, if I have them, I'm going to see if I can give them to you bald.co slash lucifuge. You can learn how to replace your entire chakra system. You can learn how to replace those self-sabotaging thoughts and those servitors. You create servitors. Every time you say, I can't, or it won't happen, a servitor is created in that name with that power that stops you. Every time you say, I can, every time you say yes, when you say all opportunities are opening for me, as they present themselves, I'm ready to say yes, yes, yes. Those opportunities are going to come. Lucifuge teaches you how to, how to just turn the dial just a little, just a little, fine tune it. Now if you already have, if your life is everything that you want it to be, you already have all of the wealth, all of the love, all of the every, if every desire that you have is already fulfilled, that's awesome. Lucifuge has a job for you. I have a job for you. I have a job for you. You have an empire to build. You have a legacy to create. If you're already creating that legacy, I can help you. Lucifuge can help you. These gatekeepers can help you. Most of all, you can help yourself. You can help yourself. You are everything that you need to be already. You are a living God.